Millions of years ago, giant mammals that reached the size of elephants roamed North and South America. They lived in savannas, mountains, and even underwater. These animals were sloths. Hi, Zachamals here. These prehistoric sloths looked very different to the sloths we have today, but they did have many similarities, such as having long claws and having many adaptations to eating tough plants, including strong teeth, a low metabolism and complex stomachs. In modern sloths, these stomachs take up a whole third of their body and they can be digesting leaves for weeks. Modern sloths are split into two families, the three-toed and the two-toed. Despite their name, they actually both have three toes, and the number in their name refers to their number of fingers, not toes. They have both adapted to use their digging claws to hang from branches, but despite these strong similarities, they are actually distantly related, and are from two different groups of sloths which have both adapted to life in the trees. Most of the statistics and facts in this video will refer to three-toed sloths, as they are the more well-known of the two. Sloths are suspensorial. This means they spend their whole lives hanging from the trees. They can even stay hooked on long after death. Surprisingly, the only time they ever leave is for their weekly toilet break. This habit is somewhat of a mystery, as it's very dangerous. Half of all sloth deaths are on the ground. One idea is that sloths go to the ground to help the sloth moths to grow on their back. These moths lay their eggs in the fresh dung that can weigh up to a third of a sloth's body weight. These moths then move to the sloth's back, where they eat the algae that grows on the sloth. Then, when the moths die, they provide nutrients to the algae. The algae may also serve as camouflage to the sloth to protect them from predators. This cycle is very important to the sloth, as they spend a lot of their energy keeping it going. Moths and algae aren't the only organisms which have relied on sloths in the past. A more recent extinct giant sloth, known as Lestodon, spread avocados all across South America. These sloths were the only animals big enough to eat the pits of the avocados and disperse them to new places. After they went extinct, humans started farming avocados. But without sloths, we couldn't have avocados. Sloths are often viewed as lazy creatures, but I think they are more like hard-working gardeners. They just move a lot slower than the rest of us. Thanks for Sophie for suggesting that I do a video on sloths, and thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not already. Bye!